a blessed evening everyone i hope everyone is well uh today we are going to be looking at topic 230 and we are going to be looking at the old testament offering so as we start let's start with the prayer father we thank you we bless you for your goodness we thank you for your mercy, Holy Spirit. We welcome you to come and lead us, to come and guide us. May you bring revelation, Spirit of the Most High God. May you renew our minds today as we learn about your word. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And everyone said amen. So as we look at the Old Testament offering, it is so amazing to understand these rituals. Because when you look at these specific rituals, you are able to understand the price that has been paid by the blood of Jesus. I don't think there is a way in which we can fully understand the price that Jesus has paid and the freedom we have been able to get, I believe, unless you have gone and studied these rituals. I study these rituals and see the elements and the purpose of it and the things that they had to go through just for people to be cleansed it is something else so as we go through these offerings i believe that without a shadow of a doubt we are going to be able to appreciate the grace that we have received through the blood of jesus christ so let's go right into it the first offering is the burnt offering now when we see this offering we can see it's found in leviticus chapter 1 and verse um chapter 1 also in chapter 6, verse 8 to verse 13, we can also find it in chapter 8, verse 18 to verse 21, and also in chapter 16, verse 24. The elements that were involved in this offering was the bull ram and a bird, a dove or a young pigeon for the poor. It was supposed to be sacrificed holy, consumed, no defect. The purpose of this offering specifically was supposed to be a voluntary act of worship, atonement for unintentional sin in general, the expression of devotion, commitment, and complete surrender to God. We can see that in God's portion here, the entire animal was given as for God's portion. When it came to the priest's portion, it was the skin that had to be sold. The offerer's portion was nothing we go to the second offering which is the grain offering reference scripture is leviticus chapter 2 and chapter 6 verse 14 to verse 23 now the elements that were involved in this offering were grain fine flour olive oil essence baked bread and this included cakes or waffles salt no yeast or honey accompanied burnt offering and peace offering along with um, a drink offering what was the purpose of this offering voluntary act of worship recognition of god's goodness and provisions devotion to god and what was god's portion in this grain offering the first one the priest's own offering the God had to take the priest's own offering was the entire portion was given to God. And the second one, others, memorial portion, a handful. Priest's portion, it was the priest's own offering, none. Okay, so all the remainder had to be burnt. And for others, all the remainder had to be eaten within the court of the tabernacle. The offerer's portion was nothing the third offering that we see here is the peace offering reference chapter is leviticus chapter 3 and chapter 7 verse 11 to verse 4 so when we look at the elements that were involved here it was any animal without defect from herd or flock variety of breeds now, when you see the purpose of this specific offering, it was for a voluntary act of worship, thanksgiving, fellowship. It included a communal meal, included vow offerings, thanksgiving offerings, and free will offering. Now, when we fully go into the God's portion, a God's portion was the fatty portions. That was the first covering inner parts the fat tail, kidneys, and the lobe of the liver. 
a priest's portion was the breast that was given to the high priest that was specifically for the wave offering right for a leg given to officiating priest and that is the hive offering and for the offerer's portion we see the first one was thanksgiving offering all the remainder was to be eaten the same day no left over was allowed the second one which was the vow of free will offering the remainder had to be eaten the same day and the same day the same day and the next day the, the any left over had to be burnt on the third day the next offering that we look at in the old testament was the sin offering now this one is a big one because it involved so many uh, elements amongst it so when we look at the sin offering reference chapters is leviticus chapter 4 uh, the whole chapter leviticus chapter 5 verse 1 to verse 13 um, leviticus chapter 6 verse 24 to 30 leviticus chapter 8 verse 14 to verse 17 chapter 16 verse 3 to verse 22 the elements that were involved was a young bull for high priest and for the whole congregation the blood was to be sprinkled in the front of the veil and put on the horns of the altar of the essence the second element was a male god for the leader the blood was to be put on the horns of the altar of the burnt offering the third element that could be used was the female god or lamb for the common person the blood was to be put on the horns of the altar of the burnt offering the fourth element was the dove or a pigeon for the poor the blood was to be put on the horns of the altar of the burnt offering and the sixth element was a tenth of the ephah of fine flour for the very poor ones when we look at this specific purpose of this sin offering it was for mandatory atonement for specific unintentional sin confession of sin forgiveness of sin the cleansing from defilement when it comes to god's portion god was given the fatty portions and that is the fat covering the inner parts the fat tail kidneys lobe of the liver and when it came to the priest's portion in the first one was the atonement for high priest that was offered and the congregation that was none all the remainder was to be burnt outside the camp where the ashes were thrown the second one was when it um it was in relation to the atonement for others all the remainder had to be eaten within the court of the tabernacle now regarding the offerer's portion the offerer did not take anything nothing for the offerer's portion the next offering is the trespass offering reference scriptures is, is leviticus chapter 5 verse 14 to verse 19 and chapter 6 verse 1 to verse 7 and chapter 7 verse 1 to verse 16 it was the ram so when we look at the purpose of this specific offering it was for mandatory atonement for unintentional sin requiring restitution cleansing from defilement make restitution and they had to pay a 20 percent fine god's portion was the fatty portions the fat covering the inner parts fat tail kidneys lobe of the liver and when it came to the priest's portion it was all the remainder it had to be eaten within the court of the tabernacle for the offer the offers portion it was nothing the person offering or bringing it did not take anything when we look at those specific offerings so when we see these specific offerings here they help us to understand the old testament rituals and it's so important as children of god 
to get to understand that this is what was done. I mean, you can really go deep and see and look at those scriptures and study them. You can look at uh, the elements that were involved and the process that um, they had to go through to offer this when you read the book of Leviticus. You know, some people like to say the book of Leviticus is a bit boring, but I love this book because this book is able to show us, you know, how much work had to be done in the old testament i mean when you look at the purpose you know when you look at the portions that they had to give god and the priest and the offers portions and you see everything to the small detail of how these offerings have to had to be done it makes you appreciate what the price that jesus has done the work of the cross and that me as connie i can freely go before him and i can you know be accepted my sins forgiven, you know, by the amazing blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, it costed Jesus Christ, but imagine it is all by faith in the New Testament that will receive forgiveness. Now, in the Old Testament, these are the processes that they had to go through. The work that they had to do was tremendous. The work that had to be done to see that these offerings had to be given and the rituals that had to be done and with the process that they had to go through and what had to be where and what was supposed to be bought. I mean, when you look at the sin offering and the categories that were given from um, the priest to the last one, the poor, it is something else. All those things had to be done and they not only had to be done, they had to a process and they had to be done correctly or otherwise it would be defiled. Now look at us today. Amazingly, we have the blood of Jesus Christ, the most amazing thing happened in the new testament that i just have to receive that blood which was shed on the cross and my sins are forgiven and i am made free that is the most amazing thing ever so let's pray father we thank you we bless you for the time that you have given us together mighty lord as we look at, at the offerings, mighty Father, and the rituals that so many had to go through, mighty Lord, we take this time to appreciate your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for the price and the cost that you had to go through, the sacrifice that had to be laid down for me to be set free, for my sins to be forgiven. I want to say thank you, Jesus Christ, for your blood that you have shed for my freedom to Today I come before you free, washed, cleansed, forgiven, and able to have a relationship with the Father. And I don't have to go through any ritual, but by faith I am forgiven. I receive that and I thank you, Jesus, that you have paid the price and the cost has been paid and laid down for my freedom. We thank you, Lord. We appreciate you, Almighty Father. We thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, and the work of the cross. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. I just want to say to you, you know what? When you look at the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ, I mean, this was blood that was used. And this blood was blood of animals, but blood of, uh, of birds, that flour and all these things that were given but let me tell you something they wouldn't pay the cost like jesus christ today you know just by his blood the bible says we are not only washed but we are made as white as snow you know and even when you ask for forgiveness the bible says not only are your sins forgiven but by grace your sins are not even remembered anymore as far as the east is from the west that is how far he has thrown our sins into the lake of forgetfulness so how amazing is our god and let us celebrate that and let us walk in it and by faith we receive that and we walk into that how amazing and powerful is that that we can walk in this freedom and we can walk daily and receive that blood and know that that blood is not just washing us cleansing us but that blood is protecting us so have a blessed evening and have a blessed weekend everyone god bless you